Uh, welcome back to my channel. My name is uh, Ria Varsami and I'm a Samanic Astrologer and Past Life Regression Hypnotherapist. Today I will be sharing with you astrological information based on Samanic Astrology, Ancient Wisdom, about the upcoming full moon in Leo happening the 16th of February at 6.56 Eastern European Time and 5.56 Central European Time. So, first of all, uh, before uh, talking about the full moon, I would like to share with you that since the 3rd of February that Mercury went direct, we have no planets in retrograde until uh, the 29th of April. So this is a very long time with no planets in retrograde. It's a massive break after having Venus and Mercury uh, retrograde together. And uh, it's, uh, it's a big breath <laughs> in between, right? Um, so this is a very uh, straightforward energy. It's a beautiful energy to use it for manifestation, for working on your vision. Because this energy, wherever you put your energy, your focus, it supports and gives you uh, a flow. Uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful energy to, to really uh, bring clarity, see what you want and really start working uh, towards uh, your goals, towards your vision. So now about the full moon. Uh, every full moon, uh, it's the peak of a cycle uh, of the moon. There is two weeks after uh, the new moon and it's a time when we release, when we let go, of, it's not serving us. It's a time when things that we couldn't see before, they were in the darkness, the, the full moon brings the light and, and you see them. Uh, it's also a time where we might feel more emotional because the emotions are very much coming to the surface during uh, the full moon. Uh, also, full moons is time of closing, closures, closure of a cycle, and um, in general, time for healing and going more inside, into ourselves. Uh, so this is a full moon happening in the energy of Leo. And Leo is very much connected with leadership, with expression, uh, with uh, our inner child. Uh, Leo, it's a very charismatic energy. It has to do a lot with, um, it's a, it has to do a lot with playfulness, uh, with childlike spirit, with creativity, uh, with uh, being like um, very courageous, very brave. It's the lion, right? Goes first. Uh, it's also very, a very loyal energy. Also, Leo is very much connected with passion. Uh, it's a very passionate energy, enthusiastic, and um, it brings a lot of excitement. And it's also connected with uh, romance. So having a, a full moon in the energy of Leo is calling us to connect with our inner child. Uh, see how we can express more our inner child, be more playful, be more creative. Uh, being more, uh, uh, how to say, more courageous, more brave. So this is also uh, another thing that uh, we have to look is about the leadership because this full moon is calling us to be the leader, the leaders of our own life, take the correct step for ourselves and lead our lives where we want it to go. Uh, now, we had uh, this full moon is happening in the 27 degrees of the energy of Leo. And to know more how this will affect you personally, you have to look where does the 27 degrees of Leo fall in your chart and do you have which house do you have there or which planets uh, do you have there. So that will be the area of your life that will be uh, highlighted during this uh, full moon time. So now, uh, we had a couple of full moons in a row, actually, in the last degrees, in 27 degrees. So if I'm, if I'm not wrong, we had at least five in a row in the 27 degrees. So that is like the last degrees of a sign of energy shows a closer. So we have been going through many, many closer in different areas, different aspects of our lives. And this is, we are preparing for this new, and this is... This straightforward energy of, um, of no planets in retrograde and also the Venus-Mars conjunction I will be talking about very soon, it supports that we are going through an opening. We have been through contraction and now we are going through like opening. Um, okay, 
So now the ruler of um, the rule of Leo is the Sun. A Sun is in Aquarius, in 27 degrees of Aquarius, and as in every full moon, the Sun and the Moon are opposites. They are doing an opposition. Uh, now, Aquarian energy represents uh, groups, uh, friends, uh, social awareness, social media. Their relationships with other people um, also is connected with um, technology, with projects, with innova innovative ideas, new age ideas. And uh, having this opposition there, the sun and the moon, and the moon in Samanic astrology represents our tribe. And the sun represents the ego and the self. So having the moon in Leo oppositing the, um, the sun in uh, Aquarius, it's a, we will feel a massive calling to connect with our soul tribe, to connect with people that we feel connected from the heart. And this is a time where all these contracts we did in previous, uh, we did when, before coming to Earth to incarnate into this body with people, uh, to meet and to learn from each other, like soulmates, twin flames, uh, in general, uh, whoever you want to call it, soul family, will feel, will feel this calling, this, this urge to connect with this kind of people. And uh, we might find ourselves in many different coincidences and events where they will bring these people uh, into our lives. Uh, a beautiful, another beautiful uh, aspect that really supports that, what I'm saying also, we have Venus and Mars in conjunction. And this happens every year for two weeks. This time it happens for uh, two months uh, and it's, gonna, uh, it's already on and it's gonna be until the uh, beginning of April. So having uh, Venus and Mars in 16 degrees of Capricorn in conjunction, Venus is representing our divine feminine and Mars our divine masculine. And Capricorn is a very, Earth, earthy energy, it's has to do also with solid foundations, with roots. So having this conjunction, uh, we are called to find balance inside of us. Balance the yin and the yang, balance the feminine and the masculine inside of us. Uh, nurture uh, our relationship with ourselves. Uh, when this conjunction is happening, also a lot of uh, our heart chakra is getting activated. And this is also bringing a lot of heart uh, issues or heart traumas uh, that are we didn't look at the past, they come up to the surface to release. But it's all about nurturing this inner, this relationship with ourselves, the self-love, the, the merge of the masculine and the feminine inside of us. And uh, of course, this is also a time where, as I said, this, these contracts are activated and it's time where we uh, we might be actually meeting uh, people that we are very much connected from the heart, from our soul, and, uh, and it's like um, it's going to start happening. Uh, so another thing I would like to share also, Uranus, the planet of awakening, is in harmony during this event. And also that can bring, uh, also Uranus is connected with changes, that can bring also sudden, uh, sudden changes. So. Uh, in terms of, um, of of meeting those people, like can happen, as I said, like boom, like that, like with not really expecting, with not really, uh, now even you're watching the video and you're like, how will meet these people? Like, in no way, like I'm here and this is happening. And yeah, but that Uranus brings this kind of energy, right? Uh, another thing I would like to share with you today, we have Neptune, the planet of dreaming, and uh, Jupiter, the planet of abundance, of expansion, in the beautiful energy of Pisces, this soft healing energy of Pisces. So that makes it even a more dreamy and romantic uh, full moon as Jupiter expands all this dreamy kind of energy. Uh, so yeah, it's a very, very beautiful full moon. It's amazing time for connecting with yourself, for nourishing really yourself, um, uh, how to say, going deeper uh, with yourself and um, create, being creative, expressing uh, yourself, working with your inner child, and also a beautiful time for uh, allowing yourself to be open to these uh, soul family uh, connections, yeah? 
So thank you so much for listening. If you like my content, make sure you subscri subscribe to my channel, press the like button uh, if you uh, enjoy the video and also uh, click the notification button so you can receive uh, a notification every time I upload a video. I upload a new video every new moon and full moon. Thank you so much. Uh, bye for now.